current priorities of the world's governments are very clear. World military spending is higher than ever, and yet many governments do not increase their foreign aid, even to the 0.7% of GDP level recommended by the UN. And yet, there are over 1 billion people living in absolute poverty. There's a hypothetical relation. You can count that so, much, so and so much money is needed to eradicate poverty in the world, and so much money is spent on military. And if you spend less money on the military, you could in fact eradicate poverty from the world as a whole. If one nuclear bomb uh, is exploded, uh, it could cause catastrophic uh, damage uh, on, uh, to the whole humanity. So even atomic bomb of 67 years ago um, killed, uh, you know, the 240,000, uh, more than 240,000 people in Hiroshima and Nagasaki by the end of uh, that year, 1945. And uh, they are still suffering from after effects of atomic bombing, uh, such as the cancers and other diseases caused by radiation. Well, the Arms Trade Treaty, that's the first globally legal binding treaty on uh, conventional arms transfers. The uh, Arms Trade Treaty will have a new, new uh, uh, negotiation week uh, in March 2013. So we really hope to, to get it all settled by then. To get all the states in the world to agree upon these, uh, these, uh, this, this, uh, these common standards for arms trade and uh, by that try to make the world a little bit better place to be. GDEMS for me is Disarmament and Development Day and it's very important because it gets ordinary people to realise how much money we spend on war and how little we spend on real human needs. The success was that it was so many groups in so many countries and so many cities that took up this and uh, the solidarity and the things, you know, when, when you know that somebody in France or somebody in Thailand is doing the same as you are doing now in your hometown, that is really